This is uh, Explore Traveler, your host, uh, John Gentry Sr. here. And I figured I'd give you guys an update on fishing in the uh, Marine Highway, excuse me, fish, fishing in the Richardson Highway. It's in the interior of Alaska, in, uh, in uh, northern Alaska. So if you go from Air Anchorage all the way up to... Uh, Fairbanks and you start going east on the Richardson Highway there's this interesting area between the army base there and the Air Force Base and so the kind of the central focal location that I think people should consider is uh, highway fishing right so what do I mean by highway fishing is the streams the rivers and the lakes that are alongside the highway up in Ontario, Alaska. Specifically, the one I'm referring to today is the Richardson Highway. And the central point of the location uh, area that I'm referring to is also North Pole, Alaska. Yes, people, North Pole really does exist. So, anyway, let's, let's start um, with a little bit of an update. So, it's August in Alaska. Uh, fish are doing different things at different times. Uh, some of the salmon that we've seen recently, landlocked salmon of the, the China Lake area, um, seems to be pretty spawned out. Uh, it's, you know, they've gone beyond pink. They're, they're, they're getting pretty white and mushy. So, so far, I don't see a lot of good activity there for landlocked salmon. But um, the trout uh, activity in these streams and lakes seems to be really 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 good and I, I know that they do stock China Lake with uh, trout um, we went out a few days ago and the lake was hopping I mean it was just hopping trout was just jumping everywhere uh, it's one of the most active trout spots that I've seen so far this summer uh, yeah. Now, so something to consider is it's also a very popular destination for, you know, dads taking their kids out on the lake and renting a canoe and stuff like that. So it can get kind of active At from 12 p.m. Street, on. Turn left. But uh, I, I want I want you to consider going up to Chena Lake in uh, Interior, Alaska, uh, just outside of Fairbanks. It's fairly close to the North Pole area, and it's called Chena Lake Recreational. Um, park or district or something like that they have like a, a overflow for water and they're controlling the water overflow which this year has been quite significant due to the uh, flooding turn from the, all the rains so you can hear right that my GPS just said turn left on Richardson Highway I'm, I'm actually on Richardson Highway right now and I'm scouting new areas uh, I'm in between North Pole and uh, Fairbanks before you get to the military base. So I think you can fish on a military base, but you have to like sign in and you know get permission. Uh, but so far I found that the best fishing has been very close to the highway. So I'm pretty excited about that because that's much easier you know to deal with. Uh, so we also went out to Moose Creek. There's a little bit of trout activity right now. That's about all I saw so far, but not super, super active. Uh, also, if you go out to some ponds in this China Lake recreational area, we saw quite a bit of trout activity there as well. Now, we found, we've, we tried several different, uh, we were using bait at this time, we weren't uh, using any gear, and it was, it was quite good. Uh, the jumping seemed to be very active in the morning. Uh, you need a rowboat or a canoe to get out to these places, go to the far end of the lake. I think you'll find a lot of really good activity out there. Uh, let's say it's about size. So they stock the lake, so you do have to be careful. You don't want to throw your uh, your bait out too close to shore, or these small trout. You're gonna you're gonna you know catch them and just have to release them because they're not very big. Um, but there's some bigger trout, and so they really really started jumping about I want to say about seven to seven thirty a.m. They were very active right now. The sun, as the sun goes down, I'm sure that feeding schedule is going to change. And the reason why I bring up China Lake a lot is because we're pretty excited 
about this activity right now because we figure this is going to carry over into the winter and once the lake freezes over we're going to get out there with our gear and do some ice fishing on Chena Lake this year. Uh, we're going to stay fairly close to the Richardson Highway for our fishing season and we're going to stock up the freezer for with, with a trout you know for the winter. So that, that's, that's sort of the, your little fish report for interior Alaska. Um, the Chena Lakes area, river, the ponds, and the lake. Consider those areas right now for fresh trout. Um, they're pretty good size. There's a lot of other fish right now, but we haven't had a lot of luck with them biting right now. Um, you know, you get shrimp, get um, salmon eggs works really well for uh, trout. They seem to really like it. But, you know, just like fishing in any other place, uh, what they like one hour, they may not like three, four hours later. So just keep that in mind. Uh, mosquitoes are very, very heavy right now. It's been raining a lot. So be prepared for that. Long sleeves, hat, mosquito repellent, you know, bring it all out. You're going to need it. It can be quite bad if you're fishing from the shore. Um, areas where it's very muddy on the shoreline seems to have a lot, a lot of mosquitoes this year. Much more than, uh, than we've seen in, in the past. It's kind of reminding us of some areas uh, um, just outside of Toke, up in the Arctic Circle a little bit. So uh, it's pretty bad. So try to keep that in mind if you want to you know, protect yourself from some of the mosquitoes. People who are worried about, you know, a Zika virus, don't worry about that here in Alaska. As far as I know, that doesn't even exist up here. And all these mosquitoes die pretty quick, right? I mean, they just have a very short lifespan because they freeze very quickly. So consider everything. Come on out to Alaska. Do some fishing. It's not too bad for out-of-state residents. It's a great explorer opportunity. Uh, tons of wildlife. There's great hunting, great fishing, great viewing from a, a, a photography standpoint. Um, we're getting into later to the year. The sky is kind of clearing up. It still rains a lot, but it's raining far less. And you got good opportunities to see northern lights. You can go to Space Weather News. You can track that. And I think you're going to have a great time. So this is just a little update. Richardson Highway Fishing. Come on out and Go on over to our website. We're going to start writing more articles uh, about Alaska uh, very soon on exploretraveler.com on our blog there. And also we have a new site. Uh, it's called alaska.digital. And it's just all about Alaska. We got, we're importing the news from the different news agencies, things that are going on in Alaska, our blogs about Alaska. It's, all, it, you know, it's coming from us and, and news agencies here in Alaska. So if you want to get some great Alaskan news, alaska.digital. If you want to see our blog, like we have, we've got you know, tons and tons of visitors there. It's very active, quite popular. Everything we do from international to Alaska will get published there as well. So see you guys later. This is Explore Traveler. Have a great weekend. And we really hope to see you soon in Alaska.